what's going on everybody so today I'm gonna be showing you pretty much stuff uh, how to do the custom messages how to do custom stuff and pretty much stuff like that so um, I haven't really done tutorials on this before but a lot of people seem to get confused with this so I thought I'd do a video on it but um, pretty much uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on this to do like how to do custom stuff uh, how to spawn the sex doll or the girl um, how to spawn the ball without getting a shitload of errors and stuff like that so first things first uh, in the message menu you've got uh, you've got 14 messages and like this one here it shows like your name um, if you go to custom message menu it lets you customize free messages so if you press X it will bring up a custom class and now pretty much what you do here is you just remove everything from it and then you just put anything you want so hello and then to save it you press the back button because for some reason if you don't press the back button like it doesn't let you scroll so I just put it to you press the back button and then um, it pretty much links it back to the menu so you can scroll again uh, call that one actually yeah we'll just do that so once you're pretty much done you can just press right and it will show the message that you've just put but now the cool thing with this is you can actually use it when you're not host so the messages that are coming up in a minute they're the host messages but if you put this thing in the uh, in the custom class if you put say and then space and then your message right here so example we're just gonna put so now if you press right again you'll see that um, it says say hello but when you're not the host it's actually going to do it as like a message as you can see at the bottom as like an off host message so all you pretty much do is just put say space and then like uh, whatever you want to put and that puts it to like an off host message um, then we've got the Tavar editor where you can like customize your jump height speed x speed xp custom command uh, gun x team names and this is pretty much the same so if we press X again and then you just pretty much remove the custom class like you do with the message and you can just put anything here so pickers press back and now to activate it to make the team or whatever you're putting like activates or you just press right and then if you look at the custom class it will now say pickles and it's pretty much the exact same for everything Go to jump height now the thing with jump height with this game though is like um, for these things you would put a value so instead of like pickles you would put like 999 and that would be the value so if you want it to like one that's how big like the the, uh, the jump height is going to be and then if you put it to 999 and that's obviously going to be like super jump height now the thing with cheat protection is it's a thing called developer script so now if you press it it will be like every mod plus clan tags now work now this is the thing that like enables uh, modded clan tags and stuff like that uh, because cheap protection is like that's what's stopping it from doing that so if you turn it off clan tags and some stuff won't work because you need cheap protection disabled for some stuff to work so now if we go to fun mods and spawn a sex doll um, it doesn't give you any errors but if you if uh, cheap protection is turned on where it gives you the special clan tags and stuff like that then you're gonna get a shitload of errors as soon as you spawn this now a lot of people don't know this but it's actually a box spawner as well so if you want a custom box spawn uh, you can just press X here and as you can see it spawns a bot and you can pretty much do like trick shots or whatever you want But the ball doesn't really do anything it's just there to like 
I don't know, something just for fun, I tell you. And yeah, as you can see, once you spawn the bot with the, the with the sex doll, the bot's just going to keep spawning there every time. It's pretty much what you would like, something you would get in like a GSE menu. Now the thing with um, where is it? Infection mods. Now these things you can do yourself. So hide and seek part one, part two, uh, tenth, ninth modded classes, D rank. Now the D rank in this menu is actually a lot different to the ones that I've used in the past. The ones in the past, uh, it would set a checkerboard map. You would take the person, you would tell the person to go to split screen and start it like like normal part one, and it would uh, pretty much reset their stats. But with this D rank, it actually stops them from playing World at War. So I'm going to quickly show you that right now. So yeah, it's pretty much part one. So you tell them to join here, and you tell them to back out, go to split screen, start the game, and when it kicks them, they're going to get a zero in their clan tag. And their custom classes and everything like that are going to be the same. But as soon as they try and find a match, um, it's not going to let them. Which is pretty sick. But yeah, it's something to not really abuse though, because it is quite... It's quite bad if you do it to random people and then they can't play World at War anymore. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but you can uh, pretty much start split screen with all these, so like modded classes. If you want modded classes, you can do the split screen thing, and it doesn't affect your menu. As long as it's not the part one for like the infection, then yeah, otherwise you will mess your menu up if you do that. But like, this is just something cool I thought, um, with two guns, you've got a bazooka and a pistol, so pretty much if you want, it's pretty much like a two sidearm class, so if you want a bazooka you can have like another thing in here as well instead of like just one bazooka, you can have a bazooka and a flamethrower, you can have bouncing bay, you can have you know a C4, and then pretty much the same with this class, this just sets a bouncing bay, and then you can have a flamethrower as well, and it will give you them, but um, yeah, right, and um, with this hide and seek part one as well, this is just a pretty cool game mode I've done, which infects the, the people that are trying to like the pretty much it or Mike Myers gets like a black screen and they have to try and find everyone so if we quickly infect ourselves with the part one it also gives you a message as well on the message of the day so it says tell one person to go to split screen and start the game this will infect them with the seeker mode get them to join back change map only and start game so we're going to quickly change that I'm only changing the game mode because I haven't got search and destroy on the, this patch I'm using. So, yeah, once they've done the part one, tell them to join back to your game. Pretty much, if you've got all your other friends that are like being the hiders, you can just start the game. So, now this is pretty much what the Seeker's vision gets. And now pretty much you just have to press part 2, it will restart the game, change everything to search and destroy. And then obviously the um, the seeker goes on the seeker team and then everyone else goes on the hider team. And yeah this is pretty much the vision what um, the seeker gets when he does the part 1. So it's pretty much like a lot harder to uh, try and find like the people that are hiding. So if you're hiding here, like this seeker's got to try and like look everywhere. It's kind of like, um, kind of like Mike Myers, but um, I think this is just like pretty cool. And um, everyone gets one bullet as well, so like people can't cheat and go around shooting everyone. And like pretty much one bullet can't kill someone. And the time it takes for like the gun to actually reload, your health's restored. So they just keep shooting you. It's not actually gonna kill you. And um, 
yeah, this is just something cool I thought. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully everyone enjoys this menu anyway. And um, be sure to like the video.